A Dallas man faces a murder charge for stabbing his stepsister to death and then dumping her body in a trash bin. Fox 4's Dion Anglin talked with family members trying to piece together what led to this gruesome crime. Dion. Yeah, that's right. A nightmare is what the family says this feels like. They are struggling to try and understand what went so wrong between the two who some say were as close as any biological sister and brother. Last time I seen them, they came over together and we you know, talked and everything. And a family's unimaginable grief and disbelief. I don't see it, even with what I've been told. And Two step siblings who were roommates at this Dallas apartment complex. 36 year old LaShonda Richardson, now dead. Her stepbrother, 41 year old Anthony Davis, is charged with her murder. Witnesses told police they saw him Tuesday night carrying her body wrapped in a bloody shower curtain and tossing it into a dumpster at the complex. Joyce Davis is married to the victim's father. The suspect is her son. She went to the apartment complex Tuesday morning and saw them both. She took her son to pay several bills and to the store because she says he was eager to buy pork chops to prepare for his sister. Hours later, a detective gave Joyce Richardson the shocking news. He said, well, he's uh, our suspect. And I'm like, suspect? And I just cut it off. I'm like, how do you even come say, or carry on a conversation after someone had told you that the same son that you dropped off today in good spirits and quite comfortable and content is a suspect for a sister he's been to cook pork chops for. According to a police affidavit, LaShonda had been stabbed in the back and drugs were found in the apartment, PCP, methamphetamine, and marijuana. LaShonda's biological brother, David, can't believe what has happened, saying LaShonda struggled with personal issues, but he says nothing warranted this. Whatever, it's no good reason to Take a personal life. Now, the suspect's mother tells me that she considers both her children, and um, I asked her if her son had ever dealt with any mental health issues. She confirmed he had, but said they were never problematic. So, latest live here at DPD. Now, back to you.